vám. How the heck did you get up there? Who knows, but it's coming down now. It's climbed. That's gravel. Good to know. Oh, a ravine. What the? What the hell was that? Something green. A ravine. What the hell was that? Something green. Shit, boy. Emerald temple. Is that a beacon? Something made out of sand. Black there, spike. Uh, get out of the way! I was looking at that. What's that? <laughs> now we see some llama. Oh, One way to find out. Let's go up. What was that creepy whisper? Uh, I didn't hear anything. What do you want? Is this a try try eyes with their head? Spider this looks like a spider head. Whoa girl. What is it? Some sort of glove or gauntlet? Looks like it's made out of prismarine. Prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. Shoot! We're in trouble. Whoa! Uh, how did? Where? Is it cursed or something? Is this thing? Oh shoot! Slag in here. I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it seems like it's not hurting you, and that's good. It looks kind of okay. Actually, it's it whispering really cool. to me. It's not hurting me, but it keeps making these weird whispers. Huh? I haven't heard anything. Well, uh, here, I'll help you take it off. Is it moving? You're gonna take my leg off that way. Oh my hand, oh my entire arm. Okay. Oh. Wow. Stop. Became a little bit really rusty. Stuck. I just can't shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Probably. Like. Maybe it was your destiny or something. I hope it's not cursed. I hope it's not like a curse. That's usually what leaves things stuck to you, right? Curse of Winding. Now yeah. I remember its name. Until you die. Which isn't what's happening here. I hope. Uh oh! Get off the pyramid! Quick! Hey! I thought I told you. I totally hit me to have my hand on the keyboard. Come on, let's get you up out of there. Black hole. Sure, I was gonna die. Hey, now what the heck is that thing? It's like a huge mouth in the ground. Black Some hole. Some sort of heck, heck mouth? mouth. What's heck sure, mouth? Sure, yeah, heck mouth. I I don't think I can see the bottom. Ugh, it gives me the willies. Drop down. Yep. Wow. wow, that is bottomless. Hey, a well, bottomless pit. We can't just leave something like this exposed. Scary. We we should cover it up. You can't yeah, cover it up. Agreed. Stone and the side, maybe. What is that? Not sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. Huh. Uh, on second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but here. Not getting out the way we came, though. Dig. Yeah, dig. Look, I think that goes to the surface. Okay, but if I was able to... Press that, I would have said that before. The llama, won't we take it with us? What's that wheel in the sky? Oh. 
What the heck? Oh, it's so close to Beacon Town. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning or something? No, that's a sign. Keep out the grass. You want it to be normal so people won't think something is weird with it. Sure. Yeah, that works. Okay then. <clears throat> what do we do about all this? <laughs> okay. Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in like monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. Right. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Wanting to go on pillars. He definitely he can't have that happening again. That was. That was really bad. And you trust this guy? Yeah. I mean, I never uh, met him before, yeah. but I've heard a lot of good things. Okay, great. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first. I really need to deal with this llama. Okay. Come on, you. What about me? What about my hand? This thing won't come off. I... Yeah, I, I know, I know. But this llama... Why is that llama so important to you? It's yours. <sighs> you know my sword? Gold one with all the enchantments? You this traded it for this llama. Yeah, I... I kind of got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while. And now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. It's, uh... Oh. It's been not great. That's unfair. I can't fair. believe this person tricked you. It's terrible and so unfair. Oh, Let me I kick couldn't agree book. with you more. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama, or... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like Champion City right over there? Shoot. I had no idea that Alita was like that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. We're a team. We're the Order of the Stone, Petra. Looking yeah. out for each other is what we do. That's fair. Thanks, Jesse. Come okay. on. Can't wait to meet this Stella well, shoot myself. Shoot that. Yeah. Uh, okay. That city's cool. Let's do it. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and get this thing off my hand. That's great. That looks really awesome. And the gate is fancy. All but out of concrete, snow. Quartz. All but our quartz. That's expensive. That's bone. That's bone blocks. Yeah, we have bone. But true, that's nice. This is it. Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. Stella is strict about how things look here. Yeah, I mm, I don't know if this is quite my taste. I prefer what we're doing in Beacon Town. Yeah. Yeah, Stella always wants everything exactly her way. Doesn't matter how other people want to build. Yeah, that's that's not that's cool. That's why I like Beacon Town better too. We do what we want in Beacon Town. Come on, we're almost there. We do what we do. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just Really need this to go well. And with Stella, I'm here well, for you. it doesn't most times. Hey, that's why you've got me, remember? We're a team. We will take care of this no problem. Okay. Sure hope you're right. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Huh. Well, what we do? I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. What's this? Llama statue. The Stella person sure likes her llamas. Yeah. 
You might say she likes them better than people. Probably. They uh, llamas are beneficial. What is this? Look at. Wow, that is a classy mine shaft entrance. Yeah. Didn't know they could look that nice. Ha, huh, yeah. Nothing's allowed in Champion City that doesn't look nice. Stella makes sure of it. But everything is quartz, you have too much white. Where should I go? Here? Here? Where am I going? Okay, so where should I go? Glass skyscraper, look at. That is one shiny skyscraper. Yeah. Like, I, I really like the style, but... It's just too much white everywhere. Pain and... It's an eyesore. Can't believe Stella built this whole city. Yeah, but it's all fake. Made by people, she's tricked into doing it. I'm not even sure she even remembers how to build anymore. Well, you have some variation here and there. But overall, it's so... minimalistic. No variation. Too much, too bo too much boring. Where am I going? If I can figure out where to go, that'll be nice. Okay. Oh, there's... can talk. Hey, Llama doing okay? Hard to tell. She seems really nervous. We should probably get her to Stella as soon as you're done looking around. Yeah. Confront Stella. She seems like a bad guy. Like Ivor, uh, before he was, he, before he became good. That's still just like I imagined her. There's still. Yes, that's right. Puppies for everyone. No shoving now. We're not vegan towners. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. Yeah. I would play to her ego. Ah, well that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Ah, she matches. Huh. Yeah, she's tricky. Come on, you. Oh, Luna, my darling. You came home. You came back. Finally. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? What a beast. I think he's three blocks tall. No, why did you leave me? He's a good girl. Stella? Oh, look who it is. Jesse, leader of Beacon Town and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City? Uh... Surely you think about it as much as I do? Oh boy. I'm gonna play along. Yes, that's right, my rival. I'm finally here to meet face to face. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I think we want to be in her good graces. I, I think so. Ah, I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? No. Got some fine puppies here. <laughs> Not my All free range, of course. That's true. Just a puppy for this? That's a terrible trade. Rude. I just thought I'd offer. You give me like a hundred thousand puppies. I heard you had no pets. Okay, hold it. Ah. Uh. Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. Wow. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald. <laughs> Don't push the sword. too hard now. Don't make me get tough here, Stella. You know what Petra wants. We're not leaving without that sword. 
Wait, is this about? Oh, Petra. Oh, sweetie, no. Wait. I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You What's said you just here? wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. You're gonna oh, be here. Oh no, honey, no. <laughs> You wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh no, was that supposed to be a secret? Wait. <laughs> oh dear, Petra, sweetie. Let's slip it. Let's I, like make little uh... slip. Well, I, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Nah. Ah, oh, she's her egos. Uh -huh. Did you know the way out? Of oh, what am I saying? Of course, Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> no, this looks like I said, rubbish. She's the worst. She won't uh, not letting her get away with this. We're getting even. Hey, I'll just settle for getting my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. Maybe we ambush her. Stella's treasure room is right there. Uh, but I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. We can like uh we'll probably rob sneak them. in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. Hmm. We sneak in. I think we can handle sneaking through some puppies. Let's stealth it up. Sounds good to me. Wow, this significantly changes my story. Now I want to go the other way. We're gonna need a distraction for those guards. Oh, that thing is so cute. Oh no. How are we gonna get through here with none of them barking? I've got it covered. Yes. <gasps> Easy puppies. See, you like bones, right? We have two. They went away. Oh, not again! Okay, throw one there, they all go. Good thing they're stupid. Post is clear. Great. This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Mm. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks, a diamond hoe? Ah, uh, diamond hoe yep. that this. All bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. She's fake. Okay, now I'm just getting mad. Being a hero and being cool is more than just having a room full of treasure. Especially treasure you got from other people. Not letting her keep diamond mine. Diamond hoe. It must be in here somewhere. Listen, about what Stella said before, about being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. It's, you know, nothing. But what about Beacon Town? It's yeah. your home. You can't just leave it behind. It's never felt like my home, though. Beacon Town is your place. Hmm? Ugh. No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. I remember. Don't. You were on time today. That was great. Uh, but it's hard to ignore that none of my friends are ever around anymore. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just... Hmm. 
cheering, oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I mean, yeah. Of course you're right. I know I haven't exactly been the best friend lately. His eyes are in. No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? Shh, check it out. That's right. It's Patra, armed with her mighty sword, Miss Butter. She saw me. This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. By her side is her best friend, the greatest hero in the world, Jesse. 